Hello pilots and ground crew. Well, uh, it happens to be morning at the moment. I don't know why I'm doing that. I haven't even got a bloody watch on, so hey, what time is it? Anyhow, it happens to be morning today and I've got a couple of spare hours. Well, the thing is, it's bloody cold out there. Right, it's about minus one, minus two, so it's not exactly hot. Okay, if you live in Alaska, you'll class that as summer probably. But, uh, so I don't really want to be standing outside and flying. However, for a while now, I've been watching people on YouTube where they're sat in the nice warm car and they're flying FPV, but they're, they're using like long range antennas and stuff like that. And one guy had this extra antenna stuck on top of his roof and stuff. Right? And I've been thinking, I wonder if it'd work sort of like okay right, with just stock antennas. Just what you normally fly with, but all of a sudden you're sitting in a car. So I thought, why not? I don't want to stand outside and fly today, I'll try it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot over to the field, uh, try a flight, sitting in the car, with just stock. Okay then, right. Uh, cheers, and let's get to the field. Right then, pilots, we're here. <laughs> Uh, like I say, I'm just going to do, because uh, it is bloody cold out there, I'm just going to do uh, like a, a range test, so to speak. See if I can fly from sitting in the car with my FPV gear. All stock. I'm not going to be going mental. First thing I'm going to do is try sitting here in front of the steering wheel and see if that makes any difference before I get a loss. <laughs> Right, and then sit in the passenger seat, see if that makes any difference, see if I get a loss. What I'll be using, uh, spin round, just stock, so to speak, just uh, Pagoda antennas. Right, on my goggles and a Pagoda on my quad. And just the uh, Tenergy Evolution transmitter, that's all. So, no flashy, no long range stuff. Now uh, that's going to give me an edge over anything. So it's just to see. Now unfortunately with these goggles I don't have uh, uh, DV DVR built in. Sorry, word's gone. Don't have a DVR built in. So I'll basically leave this camera running, pointing at me, which should be fun. And uh, I'll talk you through where we're losing signal and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with a video from the actual quad with the run cam split. Do a side-by-side -side if you know what I mean. Okay then guys, let's uh, get her in the air and uh, see what happens. Guys and ladies of course, sorry. Okay then, cheers. Right then, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, if you're going to try this, don't plug your quad in while you're sat in the car, right? Because <laughs> if it starts to spin up or something goes wrong while it's in the car, it, you, you're in big trouble. You can't exactly just drop it on the floor. Okay, so leave your quad. And don't plug your quad until you get out of the car. What I'm going to do is get out, plug it in and just sit on top of the car. Okay, right. Uh, I'll do that now. I'm going to cut this bit because by the time I faff about it will go on for five minutes. And then pilots, hopefully yeah, I'm running a side by side by now and you can see I've got the quad on top of the car so let's uh, pop the goggles on and see what sort of signal we get I'm just locking the car <laughs> right it's already a little bit bit jumpy bit staticky and I'm holding this up because of the steering wheel God, this feels weird position to hold the controller. Right. So far we've got a dead clear, a bit of static, but a good clear image still. I'm not going far or fast as you can see. I'm just keeping it steady. <laughs> I'm not doing anything stupid, I'll just go behind as I reckon if I'm going to lose signal this will be where it'll be. But yeah, a bit crackly, a bit of a signal crackle but uh, still quite clear, not, not much of a problem really. 
I'm quite happy with this actually. I'm very surprised, to be honest. I'm pushing it now. Nah. Oh, just a bit of a blank out then. Just went blank. Well, it's back again. Yeah, the signal's pretty good, and considering how far away from the car I am, I wasn't even sure about the transmitter, to be honest. Right, with it being a Tenergy Evolution, right, which is an excellent transmitter, but it, it's not like uh, using a big bugger. Right, like a Tyrannus or something like that, or, well, I, I use Futaba in my other bills and stuff. I'm just keeping it steady, I'm not doing out daft. It's really just a test here. Plus, in this position, the way I'm holding it, it, it feels wrong, if you know what I mean. Right, I'm going to drop this down to my lap. So, it's between my legs now, which you really needed to know, didn't you? So just uh, see if we can give it a bit more of a... Because I'm, I'm holding the transmitter in a comfier position now, you see, so I can actually fly a bit. But uh, everything, I mean the signal, I'm, I'm shocked. I didn't expect the signal to be this good. I thought the signal would be pretty crap actually, to be honest. But I'm not getting a bad signal at all. And to think, a week or two ago, I was frigging stood outside that red car there and freezing me freezing that's all i'll say but i'm quite happy with this lost a bit of signal then but i suppose just for just for flying and messing about a bit as long as you ask, like I say, if I go a bit too high or a bit too far, I'm getting crackles on the screen, alright? As in a bit of a loss of picture for a split second, milliseconds. But, uh, I can fly her okay. It does feel a bit weird though, I will admit. Alright, because, well, one, the transmitter is between my legs. Oh, there's a car coming up there. One, the transmitter is between my legs. Plus, uh which in itself feels weird, but uh, it, it, it's hard to explain. Just making sure of that car. Coming into land now, anyhow. You can't see, but that's uh, four minutes of flight, but as you know, I was taking it steady. Oops, and off, 4 minutes 14 seconds to be exact on the on-screen display. Right then, uh, I suppose I could say, let me just go and I'll plug that battery, I'll cut this bit. I suppose you could say no problem. Yeah, it felt fine. Uh, I could see pretty damn good. I didn't have any. I won't want to be flying through trees inside the car because uh, you did get the odd break up, and I reckon twigs and stuff would just be invisible. However, I'm very happy with it, and I've I only brought four four packs with me. But I'll be using the rest of them from sat in here. But what I'm going to do is, just in case there's some up where the steering wheel is, that could cause a little bit of interference. I'm going to sit in the passenger seat, fly again, and see if it makes any difference. Okay then, uh, let's uh, swap around, change things around, and try that. Cheers. Pause. Right then, pal, let's take two. And I'll tell you right now, I feel a lot better without the steering wheel. You're up here like this. 
Even when I have the thing between my legs, it won't cut the thing between my legs. The thing between my legs it sounds like a bloody monster movie. The transmitter between my legs underneath the steering wheel felt so uncomfortable. But uh, she's back on the car again and I'm on this side, so let's give her another go. Right, and oh, well, yeah, feels a lot more comfy. I'll once again, I'll put uh, the two videos together side by. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm getting a lot more static at this side. Now, it could be if you notice as I fly towards you, that fence. There's a fence running all the way down there and I'm right on the passenger side now so there's a good chance it could be the fence causing interference, I don't know. But uh, just sit back in the chair a bit, see if that helps get the uh, signal up. Feels weird talking to a I know there's a camera in front of me and it just feels weird knowing there's a camera there and chatting away. Well, that was rubbish. Let's try that again. But the picture, yeah. I mean, obviously you can fly with it. It goes without seeing. I mean, I'm flying with it. <laughs> well, that was rubbish as well. But yeah, so... I suppose I'll just end this video while I'm sat like this because there's there's not m much more I can say. Whoa, that'd be a good place to end it. <laughs> Nearly nose dabbed. It it still feels weird. You see, I've got my legs. Uh, it I feel like I'm sitting in a deck chair. I don't know. It just still feels a bit weird. But at the same time warm because I know how cold it is out there so I suppose I'm boring you now I'll leave it there and uh, cheers thanks for watching uh, right then well there's my little test I found out yes even with stock you can fly the best static but you can live with it I mean like I said I don't think you could really push it to the limit and be, I won't want to go like round a building in and out of trees and stuff like that but to have a a fly you know what I mean burn up a few packs keep your thumbs working yeah as long as you're not going crazy it's fine I didn't have any problems at all and that's just where you, you stock I'm using the Pagoda I get mine from uh, many C and well, I was going to say they're expensive, but they're not expensive. They're, they're about average compared to everywhere else, about nine quid each, something like that. But, yeah, so, Pagoda antennas, and as I said, just the Tenergy Evolution, which I'll turn off now. So, yeah, test done. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, if you didn't, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. And if you did, or if you can think of another test, I don't know, lock me in the boat and try flying uh, leave a comment <laughs> cheers and thanks for watching and oh and as a salute to Rotoraya and I know I'm not in their class before anyone says right but as a salute to Rotoraya cheers bye